What is up everyone and welcome to a video that you probably weren't expecting. It's the following Monday after Black Friday and sitting right here on my desk I have a 64GB space grey unlocked iPhone 6. Now what happens on Black Friday is eBay goes absolutely mental. I saw iPhone 6s from trusted resellers um, for as little as £300 in grade A condition, that's 16 gig unlocked, pretty much any colour. Um, this one is 64 gig, and I actually got it with the original box or some kind of original box. It was advertised to come in the original box, but we'll take a closer look at that in a minute, and we will be the judge of that. You guys might be thinking, Tom, you are an Android user, you use a HTC One M8. Uh, this is the case, but I am going to give the iPhone a go. I saw it for a great deal, and I wanted to see if these eBay resellers were legit, if the phone would turn up. And to be perfectly honest, guys, I ordered this at around 9pm on Friday, on Black Friday. It's Monday today, and the damn thing is here, so I have no idea how they got them out, especially considering all of these eBay iPhone refurbished um, shop people um, they sold thousands of iPhones. It literally said like 2,173 handsets sold in the last 24 hours or the last 12 hours or whatever. There were so many auctions. I just plumped for one and went for it um, to get the 64 gig model. It's been years since I tried the iPhone. Um, my last iPhone was the iPhone 3GS I got in 2009 and I replaced it with the Galaxy Note 2 in 2012. If anyone's interested to hear about my mobile phone history then I, I could make a dedicated video about it. Just let me know down in the comments section. Um, but yeah, I'm going to give the iPhone a go. It works with my SIM, it's unlocked so why the heck not and to be perfectly honest my HTC is absolutely doing my Swede in. I'll talk a little bit more at the end of the video about that. But we're going to take a look at what you can expect if you're buying an iPhone on eBay uh, from a eBay seller that's you know got really really good feedback, top rated seller, sold loads and loads of phones, the people that basically do it as their business, you know, proper refurbished iPhone people, whatever. Um, or so we think so far. Anyway, let's see if this is the real deal. I took a bit of a risk, um, but I think it's going to be worth it for the entertainment value. So let's dig into this box and take a look. So everyone, here is the box itself. Now, whether this box is legit or not, I really don't know. Firstly, the really odd thing about it is the box feels um, totally Apple-like and it came wrapped in a bag. Um, but it, you know, it wasn't cellophane shut or anything like that. It was. It's, this is a refurbished phone, so it's been opened before. But what I don't understand is where the heck is the picture of the phone on the front? Now, if you look closely, you can see that there is like remnants of where the phone picture is meant to be, and you can also feel where the home button is and where the earpiece is. There's just no picture of the phone, so that is really, really weird. Also, what I notice is the iPhone writing on the side. I'm not even sure how they package them these days, but when I had my iPhone back in the day, this was all shiny kind of text. It's kind of dull grey on this one, but I'm wondering if it's like that because it's a space grey model. I have no idea. But the bottom of the box, the back of it looks a lot more legit, apart from this label. The printing on this label is actually really low quality. Um, so I don't know whether it would be higher quality from Apple. I expect it would be, the, but the box itself feels Apple quality. Um, so whether the box is legit or not, who cares, but I did pay a little bit extra for the one that came in the box, so... Um, but saying that, the one that came in the box comes with all the Apple accessories, so that is a difference in itself right there. And another thing I will quickly mention is it, do it does come with a screen protector and a little case that they throw in as a bit of a goodie, but you know, who cares about that. Um, so here we have the phone itself. We're gonna put the phone off to the side and take a look at it. Um, Later on, you can actually see me in the reflection there, oh yeah. Um, so here we have the little base of the phone where the phone sits, with the little camera hole there, obviously because the camera protrudes. We can pick out the centre, if we can get it. I can't actually pick that out, it's not, it's not facing upwards, we'll just tip it upside down instead. Okay, let's try and do this a little bit more gracefully. Here we have the documentation. Let's take a look at this. There's the SIM opening tool. This all looks legit. No Apple stickers, just a, uh, a doohickey there. Oh, yeah, no, there's no Apple stickers. Just iPhone and whatever that is. Whatever. 
Um, here we have some earpods, Apple earbud earpod things. Never used these. Um, I've never bought anything that came with these new designs. So really looking forward to trying these. These are definitely legit accessories. At least I think they are. They look totally legit to me. Along with the lightning cable. That also looks legit, looks just like my iPad one, feels just like my iPad one, although, now that I've just said that, the ends of the cable look a different shade of white to the cable itself. This may not be legit, but mm, it could be, it could be, I'm not too sure, guys. Um, yeah, doesn't really matter anyway. And then here we have the wall charger itself. Again, looks legit. Um, actually, yes, it's got the Apple writing in there. Not sure if you can see that. So that looks that looks fully okay as well. Um, so we'll put the accessories all to the side. We'll put these back in the box for now. Put that down there. So this is definitely intriguing. By the way, guys, if you're really confused as to why I've bought one of these and you want to hear some information and details and that, stick around to the end of the video where I'll be um, chatting more about my own scenario involving uh, this phone. So let's put that over there and let's dig into the iPhone itself. I am definitely out of practice with doing these kind of unboxings. Okay, on, upon first sight, this iPhone looks absolutely mint. Looks really, really good condition. Um, screen looks absolutely gorgeous. I can't see any marks on it whatsoever. The back of the casing looks, to me, mint. Really, really nice. I can't actually, I'm quite far away from the phone because I'm filming and I'm looking at, looking at it on the camera screen. Um, but yeah, from what I can see, not by close inspection, just with the naked eye. Um, this looks to be in really good condition. So let's boot it up and see. Oh, wow, yeah. The button's on the side. Let's boot it up. This is definitely a legit iPhone. Regardless of whether the packaging and the accessories are legit, this is by no means a con. Um, these eBay sellers are brilliant. Once the iPhone gets a year old, like the 6S is out now, once things move on a little, um, you can just get these things for brilliant prices. And even though this was a Black Friday deal, um, it's it's still, did that start up in a different language? Normally they begin on English. But yeah, you can still get these for an excellent price. So this is the iPhone. Um, let's choose, yeah, low battery, okay. Let's choose English. Um, select our country. One thing I do notice, guys, I don't know if it's coming up on camera. Obviously, these are refurb units, so the um, the screens and stuff can get changed. Don't know if this is coming up on camera, but the bottom corner of the screen here is visibly darker than the rest of the screen. So that is definitely an interesting point. Um, yeah, I can see that, but I the screen looks to be really good quality, but that it looks darker, I don't know why. So without sending the phone back, if everything else is okay, um, I think I will try and get a little bit of money back from the eBay seller if I can. I mean, they've sold so many iPhones that it's worth a go. Um, but yeah, this has low battery right now, so I'm not gonna do much else with it in this video, but I will make a follow-up video if we just put that to sleep now. Um, this is an iPhone 6, and on first inspection, apart from that little screen thing, everything seems fine. Um, so let's pull out my HTC, and let's do a little direct comparison. Now the iPhone is physically quite a bit smaller, as you guys can see, and uh, yeah, it's a much nicer looking handset. It's much much thinner. Um, for anyone wondering, this is the HTC One M8. Um, possibly one of the worst phones I've ever had. Um, it hasn't been terrible and I'm not going to talk down about it. I just haven't clicked with this handset at all. And to be perfectly honest, I use my phone as little as possible. Me and this guy just haven't seen eye to eye. We haven't, we haven't clicked at all for various different reasons. Like I said, I'll make a dedicated video about it if you guys actually care. I kind of dislike covering phones and stuff on this channel just because there's so much phone content on YouTube. Um, but if you guys do care, then I will make an in-depth video about why I dislike this guy. And I still have until April to pay my contract, but it is tempting just to pay off the remaining months. Sell this for what I can get for it on eBay, which isn't much, um, you know, compared to what I 
paid for it to be honest um, over the various months over the months that I've been on my contract but yeah I just haven't clicked and uh, I'm gonna give the iPhone a fair whack see what it's like even if the screen is not the original screen and it does feel a bit sticky on the front here not sticky as in like as if it's had something spilt on it but just a bit I don't know it's not quite as smooth um, but it could just be a temperature thing, I'm not too sure. But I'll see how this phone goes. It certainly feels way nicer in the hand. I love these smooth edges, they're really nice. I'm gonna give the iPhone a good whirl, guys, and see what it's like. Um, so yeah, there we have it. An unboxing of an iPhone, I wasn't expecting to do this. Um, I was gonna talk a little bit more about why I've bought it. Half of it was an experiment, and Jess has recently bought an iPhone 5S from a similar eBay seller, or it could even be the same eBay seller, and hers is working fantastically. She's replaced a Galaxy S3, and um, yeah, she couldn't be happier. So I thought I'd give it a whirl as well. I do have a little bit of iPhone envy. Um, so I'm gonna give it a fair whack, see how it goes, and comment down below if you guys wanna see a dedicated video about all of this. If you guys wanna see the history of my usage with mobile phones since day one, I'm keen on doing that video, that should be quite fun. And if you want to see a dedicated video of why I switched to the iPhone, if I do indeed switch to the iPhone, then let me know. But you guys can pretty much guarantee if you see this guy pop up on eBay in the next few weeks, I've decided to keep this guy. Really not sure what's occurring with the screen thing on the bottom, um, but yeah, I can still notice that. Don't know if that's noticeable in video, but it definitely is there. So thank you very much for watching everyone. That has been my unboxing of the iPhone 6, 64 gigabyte unlocked phone from eBay. Um, Black Friday deal, insanely, insanely cheap. Too good to be true, cheap, but you still end up with a legit phone. Pretty happy. Um, yeah, comment down below any questions. And as always, I will see you in the next video.